All of our subjects, from our royal children down to the lowest commoners, will have the same opportunity to study, be they royal, noble or commoners. This excerpt from King Chulalongkorn's speech shows his boundless benevolence to his subjects and marks the beginning of higher education in Thailand. From that day until now, Thailand's higher education has consistently moved to the next important stage, up to the celebration of its centenary in 2017. The groundwork for higher learning took place more than a century ago when King Chula Longkorn introduced a visionary educational reform with his policy to improve the educational system. The first higher education institution was officially founded in 1917, when King Wajirawud upgraded the status of the Royal Pages School to university level and named it Chula Longkorn University, in memory of his father. At its inception, the university had only four faculties, but since then, Chula Longkorn University has steadily expanded to become a comprehensive university with 19 faculties, research centers, colleges and institutes that offer programs at the undergraduate and graduate levels. It produces quality graduates to serve in different sectors of the country as well as in the international community. With relentless efforts, the university has sought to develop itself into a world-class university. Almost 20 years after the establishment of the first university in Thailand, Tamasat University became the nation's second university, followed by three more institutions. They offered diversified fields of study to meet the demands and needs of Thai society. After them, to make higher education accessible to more people across the country, state universities were expanded to more of Bangkok and the provinces. In the 1970s, when there was more public demand for higher education, two open universities were established and the 1980s saw the founding of private universities offering more opportunities and alternatives to the young to pursue their education at a university level. Today, there are 171 institutes of higher education in Thailand, consisting of 56 state universities, 21 autonomous state universities, 12 state institutes and academies, 8 state colleges, 43 private universities, 12 private institutes and 19 private colleges. These institutions offer almost 20,000 curricula at the undergraduate and graduate level. They also offer more than 1,000 international programs that enhance the international image of Thai higher education. Each year, Approximately 600,000 students enroll in these institutions. It is undeniable that the success and progress of tertiary education in Thailand owes much to the kindness and benevolence of Thai monarchs. This can be seen in King Chulalongkorn's strong intention to give his subjects equal access to education. King Vajirawud's donation of his personal funds as the original capital for the foundation of Chulalongkorn University and also the gift of a large plot of land as a site for the university sufficient for its expansion in the future. After the first founding kings of Chulalongkorn University, other monarchs and members of the royal family have always supported higher education institutions by, for example, presiding over ceremonies to lay the foundation stone of a newly established university, granting scholarships to students, serving as lecturers and presiding at graduation ceremonies. Notably, throughout the 70 years of his reign, the late King Pumipon Aduyadet always supported education and did so much to show his awareness of the importance of higher education. He provided funds and scholarships to enable students to pursue their studies abroad, up to the doctoral degree level in the hope that these students would return to work in their country after they had finished their education. He also composed the songs that are used as university anthems for three leading universities. He visited places of higher education on countless occasions and above all, 
For over 50 years, he presided over graduation ceremonies held in public institutions across the country, bestowing degree certificates on graduates and providing them with moral guidance. His Majesty's devotion always set a good example to graduates that they must sacrifice their personal interests for the public good. His immense kindness to Thailand's higher education was boundless and will be ever more remembered. Throughout these 100 years, higher education institutions in Thailand have prospered in many respects. In order to achieve academic excellence, they have promoted research and innovation to attain international standards. These universities have improved themselves in many ways so as to be included in global rankings. Nine top universities have adopted the status of national research universities because they are aware that the quality of the higher education can only be improved through the quality research of their students and staff. Research works should also contribute to the country's competitiveness on the international stage. All higher education institutions in Thailand have a strong commitment to producing quality graduates who can respond appropriately to urgent challenges and become quality global citizens, possessing the necessary sense of social responsibility and determination that will contribute to a better future for sustainable and innovative societies for the next century. Yeah.